Michiana is seeing a trend of vehicles crashing into buildings. Just this week, we told you about Rocket Car Wash and Elkhart close for repairs. And just months ago, Amani's Beauty Salon in Elkhart and Hacienda in Plymouth seeing their own incidents, with Amani still not operating out of their Main Street building. However, this is not just a local concern, it's a pressing issue seen across the globe. Those happen more than 100 times a day. Uh, and every year about 16,000 people are seriously injured and every year about um, 2,500 people are killed. According to studies by the Storefront Safety Council, the most frequent causes are operator and pedal error and DUI following. Ryder tells me there's not much establishments can do to prevent high speed crashes that lead vehicles off the road and into them, especially with a wide range of factors. However, the more common low speed parking lot incidents could be reduced with proper precautions. You can. Um, change layouts of parking lots to make them safer. People can install bollards so that, that you know, a, a car that jumps the curb can't strike people on the sidewalk or, or people inside of a store. As Taste of Asia in Mishawaka remains closed after being struck yesterday, the owner tells me each day they are closed, they lose a couple thousand dollars, making it that much harder to pick up the pieces. Insurance experts tell me in these situations where the driver is at fault, it would be up to them to cover it. Your insurance policy would pay for the damages up to the policy limits that you picked. Ruiz adds that payouts may not cover all damages, leaving business owners to determine if they have significant coverage beyond what the car insurance provides. The owner of the business or the home might also sue them for more, and then it would be up to them to pay it. I'm John Paul. Thanks for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.